even if you game on a phone or a tablet is a controller made for that. Hey how is going Adam here, in today's video I wanna show you how to play your favorite emulators on your phone or a tablet. If you want to check out any of the items shown in this video you're gonna find links in the description. Let's get started. Let's start by downloading RetroArch. With this app you will be able to play all your library of games. SNES, NES, N64, PSP and more. First we need to add the cores. Here you're gonna find all the emulators you want and it's just a matter of tapping it and it will automatically download and install. To add all the games you will need to connect it to your PC and find a DCIM folder in which you can copy all the ISOs. Now all we need is to try a game and see if it works and remove the on-screen controls by tapping this arrow. The best way of playing these games is with a controller, so I want to show you two of my favorite ones. First is 8B.0, this one is by far the smallest controller that I had. It's made by the same company who makes N60 Pro which I had my hands on for a while. This separates itself from the other controllers by its size. It's just 73mm length, 35mm wide and 10mm in height. Zero weighs just 50 grams and boasts an 18 hours lithium ion battery and is small enough to carry on your chain or easily place it in your coin pocket. You might think that being this small is not comfortable to play, but you'll be surprised how good it feels in your hand. Being a Bluetooth controller, it will work with pretty much any platform, iOS, Android and even Windows. It's super easy to connect, just check the chart for which button combination you need to press for your specific platform. This software works on the tablet as well, but you need to have a relatively new one in order to have a good experience. For a better way of playing on a tablet, I really like this controller made by iPiga. At around $30 on Banggood, is a good budget one, is a controller which adds the buttons and the joystick on the side of your tablet, making it easier to hold it in your hands. It has two joysticks, A, B, X, Y buttons, L1, L2, R1, R2, some media buttons on the right side and three on the left. This one is also multi-platform but its design makes it a no-brainer that you needed to use it with a tablet. Works with either Android or iOS. There are some mobile titles that work with the controller but you will need to try them in order to see which games works and which not. Some titles like Wild Blood and Dungeon Hunter works like a charm but with some I had some troubles on making it work. Overall this is the best way of playing games on the go. If you prefer playing it on your phone or a tablet, is a controller made for that. That was it, a nice way of playing your mobile games and also bringing some of the classics titles on your phone. Thanks for watching and if you stick till here and you like the video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also check out some of my other ones. My name is Adam and I'm gonna see you in the next one.